Jake's, I guess, an eccentric individual and he holds a near and dear place in my heart. And the linemen are truly the heart and soul of the entire team. We all have this crazy sense of humor that I think comes with the territory of being this, you know, fat kid. Ian and I met my freshman year on the grass practice field for a summer workout. My wife and I have joked that if we could adopt a son, it would be Jake. And so um, it's, it was really fun that he thought of me to do this project. I was a sophomore when Ian graduated from college in 2006. And I was an art major. Um, I actually was a painting focus, but I did everything from painting to sculpture to photo to computer graphics. He said, hey, we're doing another calendar next year, and would you be interested in doing it? I'm like, yes. James Harris has been almost like a best friend of the whole team. Uh, he gave us this goal of, uh, you know, if you guys lose some weight or everyone gets to their marked weight or their goal weight, then uh, we can do this calendar idea. And uh, I was completely infatuated with the idea. Hello, James. I initially thought I was going to be take a couple pictures with your digital camera and, and go down to your local coffee shop and make a calendar and, and that's what we got. But no, we had professional photography, we had photo shoots. The first shot was pretty intense. We didn't have a referee for the tug of war match because uh, Chip Kelly was supposed to come help us. And so we got a call from Coach Kelly and we look in the back and he's running down the path trying to catch up. I'm coming guys, you know, and he gets out there and throws on his jersey, comes over and, okay, what do you want me to do? So, okay, stand in the middle and be right by the rope and kind of like put your hand up like you're, you're trying to um, see who's winning. He goes, oh, what about this? What if I put my other hand up? And I'm like, hey, go for it, do that. That's, that's cool, do that. And so he was way animated, which was great. The picture that strikes me as, as the most dramatic and, and cool looking when I see it is definitely the golf shot. I'm not a golf pro, but Trill, I would say, has a horrible swing. And he was just all over it, though. And he was, he was into it with his clubs, and he was getting coaching tips from Mike. He was an avid golfer, and it was just cool to see them working together. Terrell really shocked me with his outfit. I, I loved that he came and what he did, wearing a plaid schwantz. And Mike and Terrell, both matched their shoes, which was brilliant. I didn't even think of that. The shot that I liked the most was probably going to be the senior shot um, because we went to this spot that I found when I was a senior here and up at the top of Austin Stadium and got a shot with a fish eye lens, which is kind of like a wide angle lens, and looking down on them to the field and the practice field and kind of encompass the whole, um, basically where you live as a football player. Will was a very calculated person. He's very deliberate in what he says, and he means what he says. So putting him in a, in a shot that, that has chest is, uh, fits his personality a little bit better than, say, Charlie Carmichael, who wouldn't really work for that shot in terms of his personality, because he's, he's a little more uh, out there. He's not as calculated and quiet as chess is perceived. So putting him in a fishing shot in his leather jacket with a life vest around his neck made it a little more funny. Charlie, you look fantastic. <laughs> I had this is way two, better uh, than last year, right? Three when I was done. I'd say so. I, I think I, I catch a broader audience. Yeah. Like yeah. We staged some pictures, but I think the one we're going to use is they're just laughing, having fun. Like Charlie's like, "How do you use this pole? Like, what do we do? You know, what the cast? What is this?" And so, I mean, those, the ones that were really genuine, I think those came out really well, and that's when they were just kind of doing their own thing. Mark Asper went out and built an entire outfit of white clothing for his Wimbledon shot, including triple extra large women's white tennis shorts that he found at Goodwill, which was really exciting for me. Unfortunately, the way the shot was framed, we didn't get to use those beautiful shorts in the picture. The funniest was the swimming shoot because we ended up adjusting and doing a diving shot and um, just getting weems up on the high dive board was hilarious. <laughs> he could not 
muster the courage to get to the end of the board. And Ian had to, in post, cut down the end of the, the diving board and make it look like he was standing on the edge. So that shot's actually a little bit doctored. Just having a you know, 300 pounder up on a high dive board is always good for some laughs. No one really gives attention to the offensive and defensive line. And I think a calendar, an area like this where we can focus on them, really shows their personality. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm slow. I do love Django. <laughs> do get a little more publicity because they get sacks and tackles and TFLs. We don't. Um, if they're empty, trash them. All right, bye. Ping pong equals brilliance, enthusiasm, and I've never had so much fun working with two people other than Max Foyer and both around. Those guys really get into it.